Hi everybody, thank you for watching, for tuning in. Today I'm doing a, okay, so I'm busy working on a series for, of three different florals for a workshop that I want to do. So I'm doing three different examples. This one is a chain pull, which I'm doing as a rose, and then obviously with little leaves. I'm posting this because I just want to show people how you actually can just push through when you've made a mess. All right. I don't know if it's because I go when I go onto the camera, when I know that I'm videoing, I just lose focus. I have done these chain pulls. I do these chain pulls. It's like all these, the, these videos that I'm doing currently. I just am messing up. And I think it's because I know that I'm being recorded. So my focus is not on what I'm doing. The focus is on the camera. You'll see I absolutely get cack handed um, I get myself all twisted up in w terms of where I'm going, what direction to pull the chain, how to lay the chain. But as I said, I've just, I'm posting this because I want to show people that you can just push through. Okay, so now I've done that. I'm going to do another layer. I actually, when I do chain pulls, I like to do about two different layers because I think it adds depth. But now you'll see, okay, when I put it on, I just go, my head just went all the wrong places. And I'll explain. So I'm going on the outside. There, now I've realized my mistake. I should be working from the inside. And I should actually be working from the outside in. I'm not sure if that makes sense. But also, this is a longer chain. I want. To, I did want to extend it a little bit. But because I've gone the wrong way around, the centers ended up where it stopped, where it ended. It, I'd wanted it to be more of a center. The thing with the chain pull as well. Um, here you can see the longer you keep the chain in contact with the canvas, the bigger your swipe. You see now. You can see. I should have been on the inside of that chain. Not on the outside. I don't know if you can see that. Honestly, I just just went wrong everywhere. I wanted to try and put another, incorporate another color into this, which turned out to not be the right thing. Also, not help. It didn't help that I was going the wrong way around. See, I'm absolutely like on the wrong, I don't know where my head is. I, as I said, I think it's because the minute I get onto a camera, which is silly because I edit afterwards. You see, now this is where I'm supposed to be with the chain, but I should have also started on the outside, not the inside. Anyway, you can see what happens. And I have to tell you, it just goes downhill from here. But it does get better. So there is, there is light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I just, I don't know what I was doing. Also, my gardener was here and I think he was distracting me as well. I honestly do not know what I was thinking. And I've persevered. I'm still trying to make, fix it up. And it's still not working. So I'm going here with a longer chain. At least I'm on the right side of the inside of the rose. You can see my fingers are all sticky. The paint is sticking because I have been working with this paint for so long. Trying to get it right. Remember, when you are doing the chain pull, just keep in contact with that canvas. If you don't keep in contact with the canvas, obviously your chain is lifts. You don't get any color on the canvas. This just went south. Don't know what I thought the heat gun was going to do either, but it's 
that's the heat gun for people that are going to ask me. Okay, so this is, I'm going to add some leaves. And again, this is where the camera uh, got a call while I was recording. And I didn't realize that the camera had jumped. And that it's had gone back to it had reverted to original size. So instead of it being close up, it's now far apart. I did try and crop it, but it just on the, the app that I'm using, it didn't work properly. So I'd rather left it in. I can't tell you how to try and focus. Yeah, this is where it's. So when um, the call, after the call cut, it had bounced the video back. It actually does take quite a bit of focus and concentration to get those, to get the pulls going in the right direction. So let's just keep, just constantly pulling out. And then I've got a little bit of a long chain, so what I did, so instead of having to go back and dip into the green paint all the time, I just turned the chain around. Okay, so the consistency of the paint, and I just, I didn't want it so bright, so that's why there's a lot of black in there. The consistency of the paint is quite thick, because I want, I want the paint to hold the shapes of the chain, which is working very well, as you can see. Okay, so I've put the camera back to normal. Okay, I've taken out the center. I don't know if you can see that. I've just with a palette knife, I've just cleared that center because I just wanted to go back into it. I did lift the chain a little bit here because I didn't want it to go over the leaf. When you see this doing the playback, I'm actually moving with the chain. I'm moving my head with the chain. <laughs> when you go back, you can see all the things that you should have done, where you should have stopped, where you should have carried on. Okay, so the paint, there's not enough paint left for me to dip the chain in, so I'm just using the back, the end, what's in the leftover in the cup. The paint is shiny, the canvas is shiny because it's still wet and I'm actually recording outside because I didn't want the light inside to reflect on the canvas. So, but it's, I suppose it's better than the inside light. Can you see how sticky my fingers are? Hopefully I cover up that black there, yeah, there. I could have gone out a little bit more, I think, with to cover up more of that black. Okay, so what I did as well is off screen, I just took some of the paint, the green paint with the stick, and just into the rows, I kind of, every now and then, just added a little stick of green, a little smudge of green, because these were too separate for me, that there was like green, and then there's the bright, bright or red or orange. It's a fluoro red, but it actually looks very orange. So you'll see in the end photo what I'm talking about, just to incorporate the two so they're not so such separate entities. I just felt like it needed a little another little bit of a leaf, another leaf just to balance it. And then I'm making a spine down the middle of the leaf, but I actually used to ended up using a stick. I preferred the stick. And in the photo you'll see um where I've just gone in like there, so it's, you can see a little bit.